Hi friends, welcome back to All on Law. This is USMLE Pearl video. I'm going to talk and summarize about the important topics for USMLE examination. So let me start with this. Today I'm going to talk about, uh, I'm going to give you this, uh, what do you call, uh, sign and symptoms of a neurological, uh, what do you call, uh, lesions. And you have to tell me where the lesion is located. Okay, where is the lesion actually, right? So let me start quickly. Uh, with a simple one uh, before starting this video as usual please do subscribe to our channel and please do share our videos with your friends okay let me start with the most important and very simple way do you see resting mem resting tremors tell me resting tremors where do you see resting tremors or chorea yes it's a basal ganglia if there is any lesion in the basal ganglia you see this okay right very excellent where do you see Hemibalism. Where do you see hemibalism? Oh, sorry, hemibalismus. Sub, yes, subthalamic. Subthalamic. If there is any lesion in the subthalamic nuclei, you will find this. Okay, right. Let's move on to the next thing. Uh, let me pose you one question. Okay, if there is a no reflexes okay no reflexes or a decrease reflexes or a fasciculations so it's what where is the lesion is l m n l lower motor neuron lesion so exactly opposite is if the reflexes are hyper hyper reflexia then we see in right remember hyper reflexes is in upper motor neuron lesion okay upper right right where do you see if there's a, a symptom of a sign and symptom of apathy okay or labile effect or sometimes inattention or uninhibited okay seen in the lesions of frontal lobe very important and these are really really very important for usml examination frontal lobe lesion if there's lesion in the frontal lobe then you see all these things okay if there is any lesion in the Broca's area sorry if the Broca's area is affected which lobe of the uh, what do you call uh, brain is affected is there is a lesion remember in a Broca's is a dominant frontal lobe dominant frontal lobe dominant frontal lobe okay if Wernicke is that is the sensory area Wernicke is where, where will be the lesion lesion in the temporal dominant temporal lobe okay Remember WTTL Broca's DFL. Okay. Now let's move on to the something new, something other question like where do you see if the patient has a memory impairment? Memory impairment. Okay, memory impairment. Okay, aggression or hypersexuality. There's an increase in the sexual desires. Where do you see is a temporal lobe? Remember, very important. Temporal lobe. Right, guys? Am I going fast? No, right? Yep. Okay. If the patient has the inability to read or write his name or what do you call it? He has a difficulty reading or writing or doing maths. Where is the lesion? It's in the dominant parietal lobe. Dominant parietal lobe. Okay. Dominant parietal lobe. If he's unable to read or write, remember. Okay. Okay. Now, if he's ignoring one side of the body, or he has a difficulty in dressing or like buttoning the shirts or combing his hairs where is the lesion? it's a non-dominant parietal lobe lesion okay right excellent if he, he has a visual hallucinations or illusions where? it's a occipital right? because it goes from optic nerve pathway you should remember okay alright all right. Now, if the patient has what he calls attacks, they are dysarthria, nystagmus, intentional tremors, dysmetria, scanning of the speech. Where do you see scanning of the speech? Yes, simple. That's cerebellum. Cerebellum. Okay, guys. Right. Okay. So now the other thing I want to talk about is if there is a lesion in the midbrain, which are the cranial nerves affected. Three and a four. 
right if fonts tell me five six seven and eight if it's medulla then remaining right nine ten eleven twelve okay so very important thank you so much for watching this video take care